All right, you got to watch out for reflections. I'm live now when you do go in there, but I'm uh, um, plan to do this so that it is, see, I probably should have announced this. I'm already live now, but I'm saying I probably should have did an announcement. Um, yeah, if you can hold that up. Go ahead and just shoot this thing and I don't know, trying something different, see if they see if they like that. Every time I set this, I have to get in front of it and make sure this is too too low. So I'm gonna shoot the first part of this video right here. I wasn't gonna do it in front of the C1, but So we live, I'm gonna shoot this uh, LG C1 image retention. I thought this would be kind of cool for people to be able to just look back and see. Polo bear in there. We in there. Let me get this Apple Watch on. Like having that big 49 millimeter. Matches. What you said? I said it matches. Oh. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Got some on there. Jordan's matching that. So stereo recorded. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and shoot this. One second. Shoot this. I don't know how many takes I'm gonna need to do with this. It's kind of weird watching it, right? <laughs> watching it live. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see how I want to do this. YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, DKK, and we are back with another video. Guys, earlier today, this is actually Wednesday as we're shooting this content, I brought to you guys a quick review, so if you haven't checked it out, go ahead, I'll card it in. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a full video tonight talking about the image retention on the 2021 LG C100. Guys, it's an amazing TV, I love it, and I just moved it downstairs from the bedroom. So I'm going to show you guys watch time and go over to some of the different image retention issues I might be having. We're gonna do that right after this intro. Cool. So, I want to... So I card in a video from earlier. Uh, we can go ahead and go into the other room. Okay. <laughs> Turn that down. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm so excited to have this room back. We kicked all the kids out. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> they still got some stuff in here. They got stuff in here, but one of my oldest sons got him back to college, so that means I'm gonna be able to completely get this thing redone. Um, I'm gonna take this. If you want Let's see, is there a possibility of... My son is actually in here. Chris said, what's the reason for the video? People think there's image retention happening. You're actually getting some. Yes, Chris, I have some image retention. Um, it's a part of 
a whole project. So, yeah. Be right back. I got to get fan here. <laughs> So he has that remote in here. You go ahead and get this thing turned on. And I think from here, I want to go ahead and just start. I had took some notes from the C9 image retention video I did. And within that video, the, the irony is that I, I shot content with this TV and it actually had So within the video I had shot, I had this TV on there and I think I was at 1,830 hours. Now I'm almost at 4,000 hours with this. But ironically, when I did that video last year of the 12,000 hours on the C9, I had some retention on this then. The biggest thing comes down by way of, and this is behind the scenes stuff for you guys, so just posting this like, you know, I'm gonna shoot it and y'all will see the video tomorrow. But pretty much these grids here, that's there. And even when I did the C9 video, I could see that shit, you know? So, I mean, obviously they're not here now, but when y'all see the video, I'll do, I'll do like the red test. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't even done the test yet, but it's just certain content I've been able to put on here and I, I've seen firsthand. But I can see them circles. Those are for sure there. Like when that was transitioning over, them shits is literally in there. Like them three circles is there. And even now I can see like grids in here where this is supposed to be black. So um, I am definitely having some type of retention. Now, I'm gonna be transparent and tell y'all, I don't run none of the pixel refresh stuff. It's just my own preference. But within the video, I'm gonna be extremely responsible in telling y'all that y'all should do it and why you should. Let me see. I know I still can't put content on here, uh, what I need to do is I need to go to YouTube actually, so that I can uh, get like the solid colors on here. Um, home, I think. Home? Home, then go down, scroll down. Oh, uh, there we go. I'm not sure if I log into it on here or not. Mm -hmm. I should say red bone. See some shit that just ain't coming out as clear. See some shit. <laughs> How you gonna have ads on a red screen? <laughs> greedy motherfuckers, man. Okay, just go play Kakarot. Because when I turn it off, that's it. Turn it to like a yellow, but I can definitely I can see, see it in the middle. I can see some stuff in there for sure. Yeah, I definitely like up in here can can see what we got going on. Okay, well, yeah, I can see the whole grids. Like the more I focus on it. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is me testing this now so that once I start recording, I can speak more intelligently 
What's another color there? I think it was the blue or the white. The white. I don't know if the white. Or the gray. Gray. I think it was gray. C9 was, but I still can, I can see something. I see the same type of things, you see. I can see the line across from, yeah. from the uh, fire stick. Yeah, I can too. I'm just trying to make out the circles or anything. I'm gonna try to light blue in a minute. Cause what I want to do is I want to, I want to get the color that don't show it as well. And then get the color that, you know what I'm saying? It's going to make it pop the most. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to blue. It's that boring behind the scenes stuff, but <laughs> this is, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is how I'm shooting the content, how I'm making it. Definitely not as burnt as the uh, as the C9 was though. But yes, yeah, it's, it's, I can see like there's there's some stuff up in here. I can't make it out all the way. It's for sure there. Let me try green. Let me try green. I got some good talking points for this. Uh, obviously, this is live. This ain't the real video. I'm gonna shoot some of this with y'all, but. Being in there is bad. Like I said, that C9, boy, that mother was wicked. Mm -hmm. Can you see the bar across though? I can. Yeah. The three circles ain't as bad as it was. Mm. But it's something over here. I don't know what the hell that is because the fire stick don't really. I don't think it really got nothing over here. Um, in any event, let me see that phone. All right, guys, I am taking a look to see what y'all saying. Somebody said Plex tutorial in the future, for sure. Pixel Refresh is a lifesaver. My CX is still going strong. That's what's up, bro. My C1 is year and a half old with heavy gain. TV, no burning yet. Tested all colors, great. Image attention on OLED, less than two years. Mini LED is officially my TV of choice. Mini LED got blooming, bro. How you feel about that? Once you, you know what I'm saying, once you... Once you get accustomed to not having any blooming, then, uh, yeah, you don't want no blooming. Um, Brian, I'm not sure why you refer to me as this guy. You got to have more respect for me than that, bro. TKK. Um, but, yeah, I turn mine off, and I tell people why I turn it off. Um, I think another way to preserve your screen is to not watch a lot of HDR content. I use Pixel Refresh all the time on the C1. That's what's up, man. Great comments so far, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, here, you can just hold on to that for me. Right here. Let me see if I can flip the cam on that. I'm gonna go ahead and end this and so I can start getting this content shot. All right, people, what's up? What's up? 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish shooting this content. So thanks for tuning in, Mr. Seven Digital. Appreciate you, bro. You love the content. I love the support. Thank you. That's what it's all about. He said, how often should we pixel refresh the C2? You should pixel refresh all the time, as much as you want. Um, there are some negative advantages to that too. Um, you know, I'm not really here to tell anybody what they need to do on a TV, but it's a feature they put into, into the OLEDs to preserve them. So I do encourage it for sure. It just, it, I mean, on a bigger scope of things, and I'm not like a conspiracy theory type of person, but just imagine me being an earlier adopter of OLED TVs, right? We're talking thousands of dollars worth, and they're not being that, that not existing. I had the baby EF9500. I didn't have a lot of retention issues. I used a fire stick and everything on it, right? Um, and so even when it got junked out, it was because there was legitimately dead pixels, like red dots that were there. Um, it wasn't because of screen burn, even though it did have some screen burn. I digress. Um, so now they have this on a TV, and so I have warranties. I buy warranties all the time. I always encourage that. You know, these TVs are at minimum going to cost you two grand. You buy it new, it's going to cost you at least 2000 for a 65-inch C model. So get you a warranty. Uh, whether or not you want to run a refresh, that's your business. They put it on there to help you, yes. But um, I also feel like I'm kind of stuck to, to that, you know. So, But I'm going to go ahead and end this so I can actually create this content. So hopefully you guys have checked out the previous video and... You check out this one that's going to go live tomorrow. Max Love.